Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I just wanted to have this little wig chat with you about what happened to me and my experience this, this morning at church. Um, today I wore the new Vibrant uh, and we went to a um, different Mass this morning. We went to a later Mass. So the people there, I mean, I may have seen them, but it's not my the normal congregation because we usually go to the eight. And uh, upon leaving, a woman and I were just walking down the, the aisle together and she had um, leaned in and said, your hair is very pretty. And I said, thank you. And then we're walking a few more steps and she's just like looking at it. She says, it is, the color is beautiful. And, and uh, I love how full it is. It's just, it's just so pretty. And I said, thank you. And then the third compliment came because by that time we were outside and the sunlight w that was coming down, the daylight was hitting it. And, um, she made another comment about, again, how, how the, it's a pretty color. And at this point I thought maybe she had thought she was guessing it was a wig. And I was trying to read her, maybe, you know. And um, I leaned in and I just said, well, thank you. I said, but it is a wig. And she said, no. And she started looking at it again. And she was, but are you okay? And I said, oh, I'm fine. Physically, I'm fine, but my hair is sick. And I touched base about the hormonal imbalance. And then she goes, well, you can never, you would never tell. You can never tell. I said, well, that's the whole idea. And she laughed and she said, um, well, I, I have a few friends that could benefit from wearing a wig. And I told her, I said, well, there's a company that I bought this from. It's called The Wig Company. And um, I said, it's online. And they have very affordable wigs, very budget-friendly for, you know, for different different sections of the, of the wallet, however much you want to spend on a wig. And um, we just continued talking about that. And it made, inside, I felt so good um, that I was having this little chat with this woman about... Uh, a, a little part of my journey and I said now I own several and I said so the next time you see me it may be blonde or it may be shorter or it may be curlier longer maybe a different shade of red and I said they're all wigs I said I, I don't I don't go out with that in my in my natural hair anymore I wear wigs all the time and she was just couldn't believe it couldn't believe it and I said, I'm very comfortable in this. And she's like, well, they're beautiful. And I said, well, thank you again. And, but in that little moment inside, like I said, I felt so happy and so fulfilled that at that moment, I relayed how confident I was in my wig and how comfortable I was in my own surroundings with, with wearing this, that I shared to her my story and that she shared that she knows somebody that could wear wigs. And I said, well, you know, go tell them, go tell them. There's no reason why they shouldn't. Um, don't be scared, just go do it. Go do it, own it, wear it, and enjoy life. I said, this is just my next journey in life. This is what I have to do. And um, it went on for a few more minutes back and forth. And then, you know, we parted ways. And then my husband caught up with me and he had asked me, you know, um, you know, who was that? Because, you know, somebody talking to her. And I told him the conversation. He goes, you didn't tell her, did you? And I said, yes, I told her. I told her and proud I am wearing a wig and this is what I do. And I told him a little bit what I said to her. And he's like, well, why did you do that? And she didn't even know. And I said, well, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I share my experience with her? I'm comfortable in, in, in these wigs and I'm comfortable talking about it to people. And if I can help her, which it sounds like I'm going to help one of her friends, she'll convey to her how comfortable I am, how confident I am. And that she'll tell this, a friend of hers, this woman, she wore, she wore a wig to church today. And she has many of them in her closet and oh, all different, you know, sizes and colors. And she loves them. Maybe you ought to go out and try and buy one and see what we can do for you. So in that moment, and I, I still feel pretty good about it right now talking about it. Um, and that's what it's all about. These little chats that we have, uh, expressing our feelings and our thoughts and what we go through in a day. And, and if people acknowledge that, we, that what we're wearing or how we're wearing it and, and, it, and then they know somebody that needs help and, and on and on and on it goes. And, um, that's what it's all about. That's what this is all about. So I just wanted to put this up there, uh, today, uh, Sunday, just to, uh, let everybody know on a positive note that we can help each other through these t rough times that we that we experience in life.
and uh, that the journey is always going and you never know what path it's going to go down. So have a great day and until the next time, God bless and uh, I'll see you next week sometime. I, I got my little clicker. I, I bought a clicker to turn them off now so I don't have to reach in. You don't have to see all my, my, my nose up close and personal. All right. Bye. Nope, didn't work. Did that work? No, it didn't work. Why is it not working? Oh my goodness, it's not working. I don't know. Sorry.